Hey guys, welcome back to Counterside. In today's video, I wanted to take a look at some underrated units that might have some niche use. Now, I'm not saying these are OP units, go out and build them. They're just units that sort of get overlooked by the rest of them, but I think could have a really strong use in the game, and I'm looking at building them. And then also, we're going to go in and do our daily summons and hope for some luck. So, let's get into it. So first up we have Ingrid and a common theme you'll see with these units is a lot of them are two deployment cost. I feel two deployment cost on tech units is fantastic. They can sit in your team. They're not too expensive to deploy out and use for their niche uses and they can do some nice stuff. So Ingrid is the first one. I said it in one of my previous videos talking about this meta um, about her trying to you know interrupt snipers and stuff like that. There's a couple uses for her but basically we have this ability here. She can deploy anywhere on the battlefield and she does gain herself some evasion which is nice to be annoying um, this one she pulls enemies in um, and inflicts aoe damage pull targets and take increased damage as well which isn't too bad only two valid hits but still not a bad little attack on an 18 second cooldown so you can get that fairly often then we have a 42 second cooldown keeping in mind these are the max skills so for, it doesn't go down past 42 um, but this one manipulates, manipulates the axis of time inflicting damage on surrounding enemies also fully covers hp removes debuffs cast on herself and increases attack speed and evasion by 70% for 10 seconds um, and then we get duration plus 5 seconds so it's 15 seconds I don't think that gets counted into it it might be um, but additional attack 20% so not too bad on these skill ups but that's not really what we're looking at the main thing here is the deployment and this little ability here to increase the damage so the way you can use this is basically for PvP and I have actually seen it used um, in some top teams and I'm assuming the way they're using it is to drop her in and snipe back row enemies but the other use for it is to waste enemies special abilities so the their, their special skill if we, we we drop them as you can see there's no there's no red line you can, you can drop her wherever um but you can drop her in and she's going to do that pull in ability um and then she's got the double basics and then she's going to gain that evasion buff so you can see the evasion buff which makes her annoying to hit as well not impossible but just a bit annoying and if she doesn't get stunned uh you can see that she has 100 percent uptime of this evasion buff but the thing you can do is like i said at the moment in the meta um it's very sniper heavy with like sylvia and uh big i, I always forget her name the chick with the big big bazooka gun but uh those two sitting in the back row causing havoc you can drop her in try and reap them she is a striker so she is weak against the snipers um but it's not the end of the world she can still at least distract them and like i said if the enemy even if one of your enemies in the front row is coming up to an ultimate or a special you can drop her behind them and force them to go ahead and waste it facing backwards so you can like literally she drops in pretty quick like it's a pretty quick deployment where she just like drops straight there so it'll turn them straight around and you can basically get them to turn around and waste their ability so i think she is a fantastic unit um and because she's only a rare especially when we get to the stage of level 110 units she's gonna be easier to upgrade to there and i think she's definitely one that i'm gonna level up and keep in my back pocket for some tech uses next up we have this assault trooper times three now I, this guy's untested for me i haven't seen anyone using him so take this one with a grain of salt but we're getting tons of copies of him through the event at the moment very easy to upgrade once again has that two deployment cost he is a ranger so he's not weak against snipers and he is deploying three of the troopers now when we look at this ability um Parachutes onto the wherever to help is wherever help is in need can deploy anywhere on the battlefield regardless of enemy boss uh, or ship's HP. So he can deploy anywhere with three units. Very very similar in the operation of what we're talking about with Ingrid, except being three of him. If you're fighting an enemy with single target damage, um, it gives more options for them to have to kill before they get to him. However, uh, I think this is going to be not as good as Ingrid because Ingrid does have that extra evasion. She's got the special dragging them in, increasing damage and stuff like this. All this guy really does have is the numbers. But if we do get into a bit of a soldier meta, uh, I think he will come in as a very good tech pick. Similar, you can just basically, let's go into practice. You can drop him behind enemies to make them basically miss their skills. And if they have a single target skill, especially if single target attack has become a real big thing, um, you can see he drops in. He's a bit slow on the drop in, but I think they can engage really quick. Um, but if they have a single target ability you're really going to waste the usage of that single target ability by only hitting one of them and they've got a sort of basic attack the other one's down and then keep moving so 
not a bad unit as well. I think at the moment, Ingrid's my pick for this sort of tech two deployment cost distraction unit. Um, but like I said, if a soldier meta comes into play, uh, he's going to be there. So he's one of those ones that I will passively level up in the background. Next up, we have Bommy. Now, I absolutely love this unit. I think she's got a wicked design. I love the combat style of her. Um, and the reason we're looking at her is she's got a lot of cool things. Um, so this one fires a submachine gun at the foremost target and then quickly moves behind it. Now, she's always moving. And with that comes turning enemies around, which can always be useful. And she's got, when we look at her next skill, uh, uses, her, uses her excellent physique and increases evasion this way. <laughs> It's funny. So she gets uh, evasion for seven seconds on deployment and we get a buff duration increase as well, which is huge. So she gets a long time evasion. I'm thinking about just her with stacked evasion sets, putting as much evasion on her as you can to be a really annoying unit that's also going to turn enemies around. If she turns them around and they miss, she's going to be even more annoying. Then we have this ability, which I absolutely love. Summons a decoy that has the same amount of HP as she. The decoy taunts enemies as it moves all the way across the field and then explodes to inflict AoE damage. Now, this would be completely busted. Um, and the, the, with skill ups, the, the stun actually has a two second, it has a two second stun tied to the explosion. Now, if this decoy when it was killed it exploded it would be huge i don't believe from my little bit of testing i think it just dies it doesn't actually explode unless it reaches their destination and explode there's a few uses for this i don't think it's going to survive all the time um i think a combination of her evasion and her moving behind is what she's really going to be uh pretty decent with but this if it does run all the way like you can deploy her at the start when enemy like most people in pvp like sort of wait a little bit if you deploy her at the start get this thing running straight across um, you know, then they deploy something in the back. You're going to get a stun straight away, get the momentum and stuff like that. But if, if you do manage to get this thing to run through and taunt the enemies, one, it's like her moving behind. It's going to turn them away from your units. Uh, two, if it does get to the back and they've got like a Xiaolin or something sitting there that hasn't managed to get it in between, then it's boom and you get a two second stun, which ain't too bad. And only on a 20 second cooldown. Um, and then we have the ultimate. If you get there, it takes a while to get there. Inflicts, uh, rapidly fires submachine gun, inflicting AOE damage. Targets lose 30% of hit for eight seconds. Skills up to 45% of their hit for the, like, for the duration, which is really, really nice. So 45% for eight seconds. Stack that with all of the evasion that she has and the low cooldowns and the low deployment cost of only two she is one i'm heavily looking at building the problem is because she's only from the um hrt banner i've only got the one copy so i don't want to use my cores on her yet but eventually i will and we will test this out because like i said her kit just seems really really solid and i feel like it could be clutch in some situations and at a two deployment cost when you're getting this much evasion and disruption for a two deployment cost and every time you deploy you're going to get the 15 seconds of just evasive power like i think she could be pretty decent i think gear will come into a big play with her as well but we'll have to wait and see if you have tested bomby let me know i have heard a couple people say she's doing nice things but i'll wait and make a full decision on my own testing next up we have kathy wade now she is a normal unit once again at the two deployment cost not so much for pvp but also for pve as well i really like her um because we have the buff effect for your your rangers especially if you're doing a raid where you've got a bunch of rangers in there and you can increase that damage of all of them it's not not too bad she's just got two basic aoe's for other skills but this one's at a 14 second cooldown with skill ups 18 seconds without i feel like you can just throw her in without skill ups and you'll even get some decent use out of her in raids and stuff like that but once again just a normal i wouldn't be going hard on her just level her up passively in the background and then you can throw her in your raid team especially if you've got a good chunk of rangers and just increase that attack speed which is going to increase the damage and the final unit I want to look at is Claudia Nelson. Now, I feel like she's more commonly known that she is quite decent. Um, however, I feel like at the moment, everyone's focusing on uh, Yang Harim. We've also got uh, uh, Chinatsu and Evelyn. Now, those are like the common three that everyone's looking at. But as a rare unit that's really easy to get dupes of, really, really fantastic healer. Just in general, especially if you're throwing it into a raid team. Um, if you're like me, I haven't actually pulled an Evelyn yet. So, like, I don't, re I'm really struggling for healers. I did just pull Yang Harim, which helps. Um, but, you know, blesses everyone out, um, out, of her kind out of the kindness of her heart. Restores 10% HP of allies upon deployment. Upon, I cannot.
not read today upon, upon deployment. Wow, I suck. Um, and then it goes up to 20%, so a good heal on deployment. Um, unleashes the power of her watch, restoring surrounding allies HP by 6% every second for 5 seconds. And then we get a big cooldown reduction down to 20 seconds. Uh, it does start off as a 28 second cooldown. And then this one explodes the healing with healing power of her watch, uh, restoring the HP of all allies except herself by 25%. It's a 50 second cooldown at best. Um, and cast a barrier equal to 20% of her HP for 20 seconds after the skill. So just a good solid healing kit. 20% upon deployment can be really nice if you're running a really tanky team. Um, and then you combine that with the heal of 6 seconds every second for 5 seconds. 6% every second for 5 seconds. It's a lot of healing that she can actually deploy and and really sort of gain momentum for you so really good unit i'm actually looking at building her right now um because i do have yang harim um but i i really just like her more for raid and i will test her out in arena um but really really strong heals but that covers my top underrated picks there's probably more it just depends what you classify as underrated um for instance you got ironside but i think everyone knows he's fantastic in the um in the mech teams and stuff like that but that covers the units. Now for game time. Let's do some recruits. Also, I did start spending. Uh, I've only bought one little pack, but I'm going to probably spend a little bit more. I just wanted to go a little bit further without really spending too much uh, to see progression again. I've just got into day five of the account. Um, so if we're over here, missions, you can see I'm in day five, 22 hours away from day six. Um, the pack that I bought was this one. Uh, and I was just curious on it, so I had to pick it up. But that's the only thing I've bought so far, and I probably will top up on just some resources and stuff later. But these ones, it's like you get a 10 pool, but you got to do it in two little pieces. These can have the uh, the SSRs. So let's see how we go. This is like doing a 10 pool. So let's go max this out. Select. Oh, we got a Kyle dupe. Nice. Nice. I tell you what, our luck is on fire at the moment. Skip that. We get, oh, yes. We got another Sylvia dupe as well. Not too bad. And then this one, this is a guaranteed. This is a guaranteed SSR. Who do we get? See, you honestly, not the optimal pull out of that one, but hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. So we do also have, if we go over to recruit, we can go ahead and throw this one in as well and see how we go. As you can see, we're sitting on 120 tickets. We're almost a pity for the next banner, which is hype. So let's go here. Temple, let's see if we can get some lightning. I mean, we did just get a Kyle dupe. I'm, <laughs> I'm not too stressed about getting the lightning here. Can it go purple? Oh, it's, even, ooh, it's gonna go purple. Oh, we got lightning. Damn, we are on fire. Yes, Zhao Lin. Okay, that is hype. I didn't have a Zhao Lin yet. I didn't have a Zhao Lin. That is sick. Okay, we got another Ingrid as well. Not too bad. That is ridiculous. Because as you can see, I still have not done my select summon here. I've still got this in my back pocket, which I have not used. And if we go in here to management, and this is pretty much like I've spent like $5. So that's like all I've spent. I did just get two. <laughs> I just get did get two out of that $5. Um, but see, you and I'm not too stressed about that. Kyle Duke was huge and the Zhao Lin was huge as well. So as you can see, this is this is day, day five, is it? Yeah, look what did I just say, day, day four. Wait, let's check that. Let's check that. What do we want? No, we're on day five. We're on day five of a free-to-play account. Well, take away two of these if you want to call it free-to-play because I did technically buy two of these. But, I mean, we're doing... We're pretty stacked on SSRs. I mean, like, pretty stacked. You'd also take away one of the Shinjiars because she was the paid bonus. But not too bad. I'm quite impressed with the way this account's going. Uh, now I can, I'll probably pick up a Kyle dupe for the, uh, the select summon. Um, and then when I get the select card at the seventh day, which will be this one over here, it leaves me in a prime position. If we go over here, this one here to go ahead and pick up Titan. Now that would leave me with only stronghold having not had. And also the only other one that I am missing, um, is if we go over here to recruit, Yes, and we go view probabilities. Uh, what's her name? What's her name? Oh, she's not in these ones. The sniper chick. Oh, no, not acquired. Uh, Sane. She's the only one we're missing, so not too bad at all. I think I can get her on a select one for like a $20 pack, so we might even do that. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.